and how the Employee Free Choice Act is needed to protect workers' rights. There, this is my first time on Capitol Hill and my first time testifying before Congress. I want to communicate to you that my service in Desert Storm was to protect the laws of our land and not to protect companies like Smithfield that continually violate those laws. If I can submit my entire written statement for the record, I'd like to quickly summarize my story. Smithfield's Tar Heel plant is the largest hog slaughter and pork processing facility in the world. The Tar Heel plant processes 32,000 hogs a day. That's 16,000 hogs per eight-hour shift, 2,000 per hour, 33 hogs every minute, one every two seconds. As a hog runner in the livestock department, I work inside the pens where hogs are unloaded off trucks. During my eight-hour shift, my coworkers and I are responsible for moving about 16,000 live hogs per day. I returned to North Carolina after my duty in Desert Storm and started working at Smithfield in 1993. I soon saw how Smithfield mistreated its workers and in December 1993 started working on organizing a union. We wanted a safe workplace. We wanted a union contract. We wanted to be treated with respect. In 1994, Smithfield illegally targeted and fired me for my union organizing activities. The supervisors and the deputy sheriff marched me out of the plant in front of all the other employees as an example to intimidate the others. At the time, my wife was pregnant with our first child, and what should have been a joyous time for us became a difficult one. Shortly after my firing, there was a vote, and we were cheated out of union representation because of Smithfield's illegal activities. The NLRB issued a complaint against Smithfield for numerous violations of workers' rights. The company's anti-union campaign and severe intimidation and harassment cost us the election. Smithfield CEO Joe Luter III later promised in writing that the next election would be fair. That promise was not worth the paper it was printed on. The election that followed in 1997 was even worse. Intimidation, threats, arrests, and firings. I want to point out that a union election in a plant is nothing like the elections to public office that you are familiar with. During the 1997 vote, Bladen County deputy sheriffs dressed in battle gear with guns lined the long driveway leading to the plant. It was an effort to intimidate and frighten the workers, the voters. Company management stood right there with the head of the sheriff's office and created an intimidating and hostile atmosphere for workers going to vote. The voting site was not a neutral or unprejudiced place. Imagine if the incumbent in a local election put armed sheriffs in front of his opponent's voting precincts. Finally, last year, after more than 12 years of litigation by the company and through lost appeals, a settlement was reached. What was the punishment? Well, Smithfield was not fined or indicted for breaking the law and none of its executives who were named in the litigation were punished either. Smithfield was only required to offer jobs to those workers like me who were illegally fired and to pay back wages for the time we were unemployed or could not find comparable pay. They were also ordered to hold another election. Smithfield's president said he looks forward to an election by secret ballot. If anybody in this room thinks that this company is going to have a free and fair election after its history of violence and intimidation, then you haven't heard a single word that I have said. When my job at Smithfield was offered to me again, I made the decision to leave a secure job and take a big pay cut. I knew I had to finish what I had started. I knew I had to fight for the right that was wronged at Smithfield. I had to make a difference for all the workers. Nothing has changed at the company in the 12 years since I was fired. The intimidation and harassment continues. This Congress, each one of you, has a duty to protect the right of American workers who want a voice at work. Sending us back to the company for another NLRB election is sending us back into the lion's den. Give us the Employee Free Choice Act so we can make our own decisions without harassment and intimidation. People's lives and jobs are on the line. These elections are neither free nor fair, especially when a multi-billion dollar corporation is willing to break the law repeatedly. But, that, but they do have a direct impact on me, on my co-workers at Smithfield, and on workers all across the United States. I know that the law isn't working, but I'm hoping that our lawmakers are. And that when you see injustice like this, that you will take action. Real laws with real teeth will deter companies from abusing their workers. Please pass the Employee Free Choice Act and give us a voice on the job. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you this morning. I will be happy to answer any questions you may have.